You want to be comfortable. So I'm going to be really comfortable right here. I want to maintain my angle as a drag, maybe 10 to 15 degrees. I'm going to start my puddle right here on this tack that I made. Once I get a good puddle formed, right at the feathered edge of it, I'm going to punch in. Your rod angle has a lot to do with it. The more you can stay perpendicular, if you have too much of a drag angle, your puddle is going to be a little bit hotter. And I can tell you from that, we're going to have good reinforcement. It's just going to be given to us. We carried a keyhole. That evidence alone is going to tell me I got something on the back side of that weld. Looking at 75 amps, we're going to try to maintain those thoughts, trying to stay straight in. If I have to, I'll do a little bit of a drag for a little bit more heat. The goal here is that I really got to be pushing through. I really got to be pushing through. So when we get to that edge, we want to be reaching to that back side. I need a keyhole because I need to be able to get back there and I'm going to try to push back on my weld to try to stack some reinforcement, feeling a lot more pressure in the groove. This, I will say, is a little bit different when it comes to overhead stick. I'm trying to get that same reinforcement we got. It's going to take a rod because gravity's pulling it down. It looked like we got it at least all fused. Hopefully we got some similar results. This is the flat portion of it up to this point. This was our tie-in. I would say after I tied in with the overhead, we had some really good reinforcement. And then starting to flatten out, and then I got a little bit higher again towards the end. And I remember at that point, I got a little uncomfortable and I wasn't able to really get reach back there and, and throw that metal back on it on itself that I thought I could. But here at the start, you can see we've got excessive reinforcement. I needed to turn things down. Turned it down five, that seemed to be okay right in here, we, but still stacked up really tight, really heavy. I probably could have even bumped it down another five, just so you're a little bit more in control of stuff. Probably didn't need to weld that slow, but I couldn't keep my puddle connected because that hole was getting out of control. Right there at the end where I turned my amperage down, we got some good reinforcement on the flat, and then we've got almost a matching reinforcement right here in the overhead and that's from reaching back further and pushing back on that weld. 